everyone. So I'm going to show you on how to set up environments inside of Wadudo. So we're going to go ahead and click on the plus button right here. We're going to go scroll all the way down to where we can find environment. Click on this. And then pretty much you can have it enabled or disabled here. Or you can mess with the transform of your environment basically. In case you're wondering, you're going to have to use the Wadudo SDK if you want to have custom environments. Otherwise though, you can pretty much use the pre-existing ones that are here. Or you can even download... Uh, environments from the Steam Workshop of Wadudo. It's also um, really appreciated for anyone who does upload stuff to the workshop as it will help beginners out and just people uh, who use the Wadudo program very greatly. But either way, you can use the pre-existing ones that are existing here. Let's say I'm going to use VR Room for this case basically and then I can have it where basically there is a whole environment basically. This is really great if you want to have a more immersive environment for your character basically. Um, and then of course it'll let you know uh, who made it and also let you know licensing like if you have to credit or something like that or if it's under public domain or fair use like there's like certain fair use restrictions and such you know but either way though uh, pretty much uh, you can be able to enable real-time lights or have them enabled you can have audio sources in case there's like music in the background or something or if you don't want uh, certain effects you can of course have them disabled and such uh, and you can even um, have overriding effects, uh, overriding stuff as well too. So you can override the skybox color and such to be something else. Um, and then you can even uh, affect the environment reflections. Or you can have, um, basically you can just mess around with the um, overriding settings basically in case you have pre-existing settings before uh but either way uh you usually should be fine and then of course there's the advanced settings basically uh regarding game object stuff uh usually i would leave this alone though but if you want to mess with it you may uh but otherwise though that's pretty much how you can load an environment inside of Wadudo. and as you can see it's a really cute environment it looks really adorable so yeah i hope that this tutorial helps you out and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye